In this video, we're going to try to beat that thunderstorm and find the frogs in this early spring day. It is about 50 degrees and we need to sneak into this spot. <gasps> got it! Zay! Zay! I got one. Oh, he hit the camera. It's getting deep. Got a leopard frog. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Northern leopard frog. First frog of 2023. I thought I would be skunked today. Then I saw his eyes and I was like, no stinking way. I was literally about to give up. My feet are freezing, you guys. I'm standing in this freezing cold water. It's not even 50 degrees today. And I had not yet caught a frog. So many opportunities and I finally just got it. These aren't even calling yet. I was really looking for the chorus frogs, but I'm not even gonna complain. Heck yeah. Look at that. That is amazing. This is a male. You can see those nuptial pads on the back of the thumb. That's for holding onto the female. He's not croaking yet, he's kinda cold. But once again, it's not even 50 degrees. You can see he's a little pink even. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, come here, come here, come here. See how slow he is? A leopard frog would be gone if it was a warm day. Look at that. <laughs> He's trying to hide. He's trying to hide his face. Alright buddy, I'll stop stressing you out. Let's get your back. Not the easiest spot to get to, but I think it should be okay. As long as I don't fall with my crocs. Okay. You can already hear chorus frogs. Nothing's gonna stop me from getting a coarse frog today. This is a good spot to get them. And is that a bee? No. There's also butler's garter snakes here, but not sure they'll be out today. <sighs> Onward we go. As we get closer, the sound is getting louder and louder. You can hear the boreal coarse frogs calling. I'm pretty sure those are the second smallest frog species we have in Wisconsin, so it's gonna be a little hard to spot them. As always, yesterday I lucked out and did not get one, but today, that is our goal. All right guys, silent mode. So this is usually a field. It is now completely flooded and muddy, and I see something swimming over there. Oh. Where I just saw something swim. What? So it has dropped in temperature and I'm now freezing. My feet are numb and we still have no frog. We're gonna try it one more time on the other side, back out there by the roads. But I think back here, it's pretty much done. These things are very elusive. I literally just want one stinking frog. Let's try to do it. I got one. I got one. I got one. Holy cow, I got one. Holy cow, I got one. Holy cow, I got one. Please tell me we're recording. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if I can grab him. 
That is what we were looking for. This is a tiny one, tiny mouth. All right, we did it. Caught a boreal chorus frog. Look at that little chump. Holy cow. This is one of the smallest ones I've ever caught. Not that much pattern on the back, but still, it is a boreal chorus frog nonetheless. And you can see that throat has been extended. So it is, of course, a male, as it was just calling. But oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Look at that thing. No, buddy, buddy. Looks like a narrow mouth toad because how tiny and fat it is. Definitely a treat to be able to handle these. Look at that. Come on. Let's see if you actually have toe pads. I'm kind of interested in that. I mean, kind of. Yeah, little buddy. And that's how they disappear, because they just go way in there. Oh. Holy cow, we just caught a fish out of here. That's definitely interesting. A teeny tiny little mud minnow. Oh. Tiny little mud minnow. So I guess these guys are not breeding in fishless waters like it says. But this is supposed to be a vernal pool. Literally in the winter there's no water. I don't know where he came from. There you go, bud. This day was a success. Even though it might not look like it with one tiny frog like that, that frog meant a lot. I'm gonna rename them the Impossible Frog because they are impossible to catch. All right, so here we have the first American toad of 2023. And there's some worms in there as well, but look at him. Nice looking little male. Oh, come here, buddy. It's a nice looking little toad. You can see that nice yellow coming through. Males usually have that more so than females. You can see that throat is also dark. That's also another indicator. And he is chirping. That is the best indicator that he's a male. Look at that little guy. Usually it's a little longer till they come out, but I'm not going to complain. My mom actually found it, but this is still the first American toad of the year. You can see those paratoid glands right there. That is where all the poison comes out of. If you were to squish that, it would pretty much be like a pimple and white stuff would come out. These are not as toxic as the cane toads and such, but still definitely not something you want to have in your mouth or on your face or anything. And this is the first catch, the first turtle of 2023, the first reptile of 2023 as well, a baby common snapping turtle, definitely from last year, late last year. This guy is tiny. Holy cow. A nice little one. He was actually basking on the side right here, just right off on the bank. And we're going to get him wet so we can take a better look at him. He is alive too. Let's see if we can get him to move around a little bit. <laughs> Trust me. He's alive. He blinked before, but yeah. Awesome little common snapper. Chilidra serpentina. So sadly, Timothy wants no part in us taking pictures or getting him moving or anything. Trust me, this is a live baby common snapper. All right, sadly, I did not have my GoPro rolling because I did not think we would catch something in the first minute or less of walking down here. So we're gonna give him a little toss and then we will keep on herping. All right, buddy, just so no one else grabs you and does something that you wouldn't want done. Guys, take a look at that. I have no clue what kind of frog this is from. That is insane. I'm gonna get it right back. Oh, there's a lot. Look next to me. It's a lot of them. I don't know what they are. All right, so you can see here we have some frog eggs once again. These are all attached to the vegetation, so I'm gonna try not to obviously disturb them too much, but look at that. Pretty sure these are not chorus frog eggs because I don't think that would that'd even fit in them. So these are have to be leopard frog or some kind of, I'm not even sure, but that is pretty cool bunches of them everywhere what we're trying to find are the frogs though so
Holy cow. Got it. See! 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 Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Hold up. I can't even hold them anymore. This is huge. Oh my gosh, he musked. Say. I was about to come back. Holy cow. Let me bring him over there. This is the second one of the year, as well as the, obviously the biggest one. We literally just caught it the same day as this one. He is living in the Vernal Pool. I've come here in winter and that place is dried as bone. So I don't know if he just walked from the creek or I don't know. Probably just snacking on the frogs and frog eggs and toads, but oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, we're actually gonna be walking him to my brother so we can get some pictures and stuff. So let's try to get him a little wet. Oh, I shouldn't escape. Oh no. <laughs> okay. The wiener? Oh, that's a boy. Okay. All right, buddy. Put you down quick. Look at that. Oh, up, up, up. Okay, you gotta be a cameraman. Man. As you saw, I just made an epic catch of a giant common snapping turtle. This dude is a beast. Look at that. There. Look at that. <gasps> No freaking way, that's like, that's like an eighth of an inch off. 14, 85. Wait, let's, let's do one more measurement somewhere. Okay, 14 and a half. Cause that shell part is like a little longer, so that's probably why. It's like 14 and three quarters. Okay, one more time in this way. Holy cow, you guys. Okay, wait, wait, look, look where that is. Would you call that 15? Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's bigger in width, way bigger. 16 and a half inches shell length, or shell width. This is bigger than Thor. So unofficially, this is my new PB common snapping turtle. That is pretty cool. We have not gotten the weight on him, but I think that he definitely beats Thor in measurement. So we're going to bring him on back down. Oh yeah, 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 right back here. <sighs> All right guys, underwater you go. So why in the world am I about to walk into this little swamp area at 7 at night when the sun is going down with big snapping turtles in it? I have no clue, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can find something. Hopefully I don't bump into a snapper with my Crocs on. Probably won't do anything, but that would scare the crap out of me. So I'm already seeing some eggs. That's good. You can see right there. I'm not gonna disturb them at all. Oh, there's a whole cluster, so I gotta be careful where I'm stepping. Ooh. I used to never be able to do this stuff, but I don't know. Just, it's what I do now. All right, this is where that big snapper was yesterday, so let's see. If he's home again, I'm not going to stress him out again, but might grab him real quick. Make sure it's not a different turtle. Whew. It's getting deep. All 
By the way, I'm in Wisconsin, so you don't gotta worry about gators here. Just gotta worry about bumping into a common snapper, which won't do you much in the water if you don't grab them. Probably just swim away, I would hope. Snapper. Snapper. Okay. Holy cow. Holy cow. Just one second. Oh my gosh. This looks like a different one. For sure. Alright. Oh. oh yeah. This is a different one for sure. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's a different turtle. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> it was worth it again. Now I gotta make it back over there. Some people probably think I'm crazy for coming in here when the sun's going down. Can't see in front of me. These all these weeds and stuff and this is in here. But man, I love it. This is what I was born to do. Making sure I don't step on those eggs. This is what we do. This is what wildlife perspective is all about. But I gotta shut up. Okay, I gotta be careful. Look at that. That is a beast. <laughs> Get close. Get close. Oh, he hit the camera. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that could have broke my freaking camera. Oh no. Okay, that was too close. That was too close, but that will be a highlight reel for the rest of my life. We're gonna get behind him though. And hey, 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 hey. Oh, bigger than I thought. All right, 13 and a half, just about, about the same, 13 and a half. I'm not gonna be able to weigh him, but I'm gonna guess around a 17, 18 pound turtle. You can see he's got a leech on there. I can get that off. Ugh. Look at that, it's nasty. Oh, it sucked onto me. Ooh. Man, never in a million years would I have done that, but I'm just a Florida man now, I guess. All right, I'm gonna face him towards the camera so you guys can see this beauty. That is a beast. Heck yeah. Nice looking one. A lot more leeches. And this one might be a male. Oh, shoot. I gotta be careful, man. I'm gonna get bit one of these days and I'm gonna regret that. So a few things just happened. I'm waiting for my brother to stroll on up so he can just see the turtle real quick. He'll be here in a few minutes. And as I was waiting, and as the turtle's going under my bike, I got a northern leopard frog. He was literally just in the grass, right next to where I was standing this whole time. Probably trying to make a run for, oh, shoot. Something's wrong with this guy. Man, he is not looking too good. All right, we'll let him go. Buddy, oh, okay, there he goes. Now well, that is pretty stinking cool. And just like that, you'd never know he was there. Another awesome day. Oh, 